Brendan Lee was on pole, and we can bring you all the action now in the company of our race commentators, Jack Nichols and Davide Varsecki. And we're racing in France. It's Brendan Lee on pole position. Good start as well from the Force India of Marcel Kiefer, who looks to the outside at turn one. Can't make anything there. So Brendan Lee in first place, Berejnay in second. Very clean start from the Mercedes pair. And there is Frederick Rasmussen, bottom left. Bottom right is Daniel Berejnay. Lap five of 13, into the pits now comes the Mercedes of Brendan Lee. So Davide, race leader, into the pits. Good idea also for Rasmussen that he was following the Mercedes car very closely. He decided to change his strategy and try to surprise the, the rival doing his pit stop. Now we check it out. Perfect job from the mechanics. Yep, that means, oh, Ooh. look how close that was. <laughs> Rasmussen coming out right behind Brendan Lee. There is the end of the pit lane speed limit, and Brendan Lee floors the throttle and rejoins the race. But now Rasmussen will have the DRS as they come down into the chicane, halfway down the Mistral straight. He's closing, he's closing. <laughs> is Rasmussen going to go for it? Looks to the inside line. Ooh. Oh, Brendan Lee just later on the brakes, just holding on to the position for the time being, but they're still side by side now. The next right-hander is senior, easy flat out. It was a bit extreme, Brendan Lee. He was on the outside, but he just crossed the line to force Rasmussen. And look, who side by side on the first corner there. Down to the long right-hander at Bose, and Rasmussen tries to go all the way around the outside, can't pull it off. Brendan Lee holds on to the lead. Absolutely wheel to wheel for the lead of the race. Rasmussen tries to go around the outside. Oh, a bit of contact and Rasmussen sets slithering wide. Holtzman up into second place. He's had a difficult race, but he's managed to hold on. Yeah, you're right. And then the Toro Rosso drivers, they are getting better and better, race by race. And look, maybe he's going to try. Oh, no, <laughs> he's his teammate. He didn't want to risk, so Patrick goes on second. But Brendan Lee across the line to take the victory of Paul Ricard in round four of the F1 Esports Pro Series. Holtzman across the line in second, Rasmussen across the line in third. What a fantastic battle and perhaps controversial battle that was. The race results in. Now, just to let you know, initially, Brennan Lee um, was penalized and was given a second uh, penalty. It was taken five seconds, which took it down to sixth place. But that was reversed. Um, obviously, it had a lot to do with not leaving any racing room for Patrick, uh, for Frederick Rasmussen, who is in third. But these are the results as they came in. Let's have a look at how they will line up. Behind them on the second row is going to be Frederick Rasmussen and Marcel Kiefer. This race is about to get underway. All five lights are on and we're racing at Silverstone. And now he's going to be overtaken, surely. Chen Bolik Bassi gets a much better run onto the hangar straight. Donoso has the DRS as well. Bolik Bassi looks to the outside, Ooh. tries to go all the way around the outside on those soft tyres. That's going to be quite a move, wow. but he can't quite do it. Here comes Rasmussen now around the final corner. And there's Whoa. Brendan Lee, just about in front, but Rasmussen's going to have a quicker closing speed. He can't quite do it. Lee's got fresher tyres, so it's now or never really for Frederick Rasmussen as they come out now onto the Wellington straight. Enzo Benito yes. out of the race, but here comes Rasmussen in the Toro Rosso, side by side. Lee squeezing him, but Rasmussen's got the drive and he's into the lead of the race again at Silverstone. That's twice now he's made the move for the lead. Yeah. And look, has been, oh, he touched a bit of grass, maybe it's a mistake. Is this the chance for Brendan Lee? We are on lap 12 of 13. Lee is going to surely look line. to the inside line Close here. Line. Rasmussen no. leaves the door open, and Lee is up the inside. Rasmussen tries Whoa. to hold on. Victory at Silverstone for Brendan Lee. Another fantastic fight. Daniel Berezney on pole position. Alongside him on the front row of the grid is going to be Frederick Rasmussen. We're waiting for the players in the lobby, and now everybody is lined up. All five lights are on. We're racing at Spa. Who's going to get the best start? Berezney on the inside in the Mercedes. Rasmussen gets a decent start, looks to the outside. There's a little squeeze up the inside from Enzo Benito. He and Fabrizio Donoso Delgado absolutely together. And here comes Rasmussen to the outside, up into the right left chicane. And Rasmussen surely is going to take the lead of the race onto the brakes. Yes, round the outside. And look at this battle for the lead. And what can the Mercedes do? Berezney up the inside and into the lead at Lake Hop. So Berezney now with the DRS was able to get through past Rasmussen. Fabrizio Donoso right there in third in the Force India. Brendan Lee slots in in what is a net fourth 
position, but now he's going to be under big, big pressure from the Toro Rosso. Rasmussen trying to pass Brendan Lee, as if we haven't seen that enough already. Brendan Lee is going to be under pressure here, down into the chicane. Grudges to be settled between he and Frederick Rasmussen. And he's it's quick, a... Rasmussen, he's quick, he's very quick, he's straight, look at it. Through Blanchimont, absolutely side by side. Rasmussen to the outside, this is for the final podium position. Rasmussen all the way around the outside. He's Can he get it done? Oh! Yes! What a Why move! <laughs> Sally Sautuck, he gets past Brendan Lee as well. So Sally Sautuck finishes in fourth place. Here's a look at the result then. Beresnay taking the victory. Yoni Tormala finishing in second. Frederick Rasmussen third. Great effort from Sally Sautuck, nipping in front of Brendan Lee and taking advantage of that final chicane action. Bollock Bassi, Donoso, Sautuck now good in. And then Graham Carroll completing the top ten.